Well, late yesterday, United Continental named its general counsel, Bret Hart, acting CEO. The move comes as its current CEO, Oscar Munoz, recovers from a heart attack suffered last week. But does this temporary replacement settle questions about the company's next steps? Bill George, former CEO of Medtronic, now professor of management practice at Harvard Business School, joins us to discuss. He's also on the board of Goldman Sachs and Exxon. Bill, uh, forgive me for asking a somewhat long question, but take me inside the board here. Are you more concerned about the delay uh, uh, produced by, by United in appointing this new interim CEO? We first got news of uh, Mr. Munoz's heart attack on Thursday, as I recall, and this didn't come until last Monday night. Or are you more troubled by the speed with which the board moved to appoint Mr. Munoz in the first place after the former CEO, Jeff Smizek, was ousted for association with a, a scandal? Ty, Tyler, I'm, I'm concerned that about the latter, that they moved too quickly. But let me just say, they didn't have a lot of information on Thursday or even on Friday about the severity of Mr. Munoz's uh, a yeah, heart attack, and I'm quite familiar with this area, and I have a lot of empathy for what they went through. So they moved on Monday. I, I'll cut them a lot of slack for that. But let's go all the way back to Jeff Smizek's termination. Uh, I don't think they had a succession plan in place, and why not? Where was the short-term succession? Every board I've served on I has a clear short-term succession plan and a long-term plan, and they didn't have one. Uh, and frankly, if they didn't have anyone inside, I would rather have seen them appointed a board member as interim CEO, somebody like Henry Meyer, who is the lead director, could have stepped into that role while they conducted a search. Mr. Munoz did, got off to a good start, but I would rather see an airline veteran come in and take this role. This airline is a mess, and it needs real experience and expertise well, to put it back on track. Yeah, Bill, what I was going to say is how much of <laughs> what we're seeing or not seeing from United is because of the other issues that are going on with the airline. Well, they've got a lot of issues going on, I can tell you, and it's just not well organized. I don't know why they paid, paid Smizek uh, almost $20 million to go away after he did an inappropriate deal with the Port Authority of New York, the same person uh, who had gotten in trouble over the, uh, the Bridgegate crisis on the GW Bridge. So I think they've got to sharpen up right now, and they need to conduct a very good external search and find somebody from the industry that really knows this business. Bret Hart is clearly an interim, but they need somebody that operationally knows. This is an operational mess. I sat in an airplane the other day for an hour, and no one told us why we were delayed. They kept saying paperwork. 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 Well, you know, and, and Mr. Munoz came from the came from the transportation industry from a very right. different part of it, from the railroad business, though he had been on the board here. What you seem to be driving at is the need for boards to be prepared for any contingency, both short term and long term, and to have someone presumably in house whom they can go to on a moment's notice, at least as an interim. Absolutely. You should have one of your top senior people ready to go as an interim, maybe even as a permanent for mm -hmm. three to five years until you get the right CEO. Look, I think their management is going to need a lot of turnover, and someone's going to have to do a complete restructuring of United compared to Delta. It's almost an embarrassment. These are no longer the friendly skies of United. Right. All right, Bill, thank you very much. Bill George with Harvard Business School, former Thanks, CEO. Thanks, Tyler.